Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to share a collection in Google Docs. On a previous tutorial, I taught you how to share just straight up documents. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to put a lot of documents you maybe uploaded uh, into one collection and you want to share that collection with a class, this is how to do it. All you do is come over here to your collections. You have to make one first before you can share it. And let's say I want to share this physical geology folder with Mr. Danzel Tower. So what I'm going to do is hover over it so it's blue and actually click on it and then go to this down arrow and click on share. So then I'm going to go over to share and again sharing setting screens pop up. It looks real similar to the one with the documents. And if, you, if I just want to share it with one person and I just want to share it with DT and I want him to be able to edit it. Remember he can edit or view. There's no can comment option this time because you don't you can't comment on an entire collection so he can either edit it or he can view anything in the or actually he can't edit the collection he can edit any document in the collection or he can just view any document in the collection so again if I want to notify him via email I could do that I could add a little message if I wanted send a copy to myself okay. I'm not going to do that to DT since this is just an example <laughs> so you can uncheck that you can hit share and save now if you skip sending an email notification, you're going to get this little message. Don't worry about it. Just hit OK. And then there it is. Okay. Now again, if I wanted to get rid of him, I'd come over here and hit the X. If I want to change his viewing status, I can click on the drop down. And I'm going to get rid of him. There we go. So hit Save Changes. Now again, just like with documents, you can hit change, you can make this public on the web or private. Notice there's not an anyone with the link option this time. You either make it public to everyone or it's private. Those are the only two options. So if you want to leave it private, hit save. Again, I would recommend um, sharing this with individual kids. Now since there's not an option here to share it with anyone with the link, you can't just put a link because it really it's hard to put a link to a collection all right it's easier to put a link to one particular document so if you want to share a document or sorry a collection with a class you probably have to do it using their emails and again if you have them in your contacts which I suggest that you do uh, for example if you notice my contacts I have these are from last year 10 11 but I have third period 11 12 I put them all in groups in my email so I can easily, if I want to share this with third period, select all, hit done, and then you see they're all listed here. Okay. So that's an easy way to do it. Now again, remember you only have so many shares per day. I want to say it's about a hundred, so you have to be careful with this. Okay. If you're into something called Google Groups, that's an, a way around the sharing limitations and I can cover that in a different tutorial. But this is the basics of sharing collections. It's really easy. It's really similar to the documents. So if you have any questions, please let me know.